right back at it. It's been a while since I started to record. We in a whole new location. I'm like, it's still the same, kind of, kind of like the same place, but quite not. You feel me? Yeah, I don't know why these people be competing with me, man. They just, it's delusional. You know you can't compete with me, man. You don't go through the same things I go through. Come on, man. These niggas Please don't do your part better pass. Keeping our stations and buses clean. Use the provided trash can. I'm too clean. You ain't messing with me. Look, man. You are not going through the same things I'm going through. You're not facing the same kind of scrutiny that I'm going through. People are not watching you. You feel me? You're not getting hit. You're not getting stalked. You know what I mean? Like, pfft, niggas ain't watching you and listening to you. You feel me? And when you stand there, you working and everything else, nobody's attacking you. You feel me? These niggas, like, it's crazy. They're delusional. They want to compete with me, but don't want to go through the same pain I go through. Then they want to tell you how to spend your money and everything else, as if it wasn't hard for me to earn it in the first place. Like, the, the delusionness of it, of it all is like, yo, if you want to compete with me, then take the same pain I take. You feel me? Deal with the same competition that I take. You feel me? Every day, every single day, nights, mornings, afternoons, you deal with those things. Then when you deal with that consistently, then you can compete with me. Then I can consider you a worthy opponent. But apart from that, man, you just like anybody else. You just trying to still cut. You just trying to steal time off my shit. You feel me? You, you hear the noise in the background. You're not getting that kind of uh, agony and antagonizing. You're not getting that kind of. You're not. You are not getting that kind of attention. Period. You are not getting that kind of attention, and you haven't even dealt with that kind of attention to see what you, it's going to do to you mentally. So how is it that you find yourself trying to compete with me? You feel me? And that's all you asking these niggas. Why are these niggas competing with me? Like, who are they? Like, they can't comp you can't compete with me, man. You just can't compete with me. I have too many oppositions. Too many. Hold on, hold on. Let the lady you feel me? I got too many competitions. I ain't got the put. I got silences. You got people here and people there. It's too many. It's too many competition. You cannot compete with me. Your righteous mind cannot even allow you to convince yourself to compete with me. And these niggas be jealous because you getting attention. But the attention that you get and can't. It's like I don't mean ask for the attention. It's being given to me forcefully. I'm like, yo, nigga, I just want to live my life. You feel me? Nigga, I don't even want the attention. It's being, it's being forced upon me. Then they mad at you because you're spending money. Now they want to tell you and play the parent role. You can't even give me an advice. How can you give me an advice and you can't even relate to me? Come on, man. How you going to play a parent role when you can't even relate to me? What are you going to tell me? What are you going to tell me? Like, they try to tell you how to spend your money. And I'm like, nigga, when you earning your money, have you been kicked? Attack? Come on, man. I ain't even talking about this, just this job. I'm talking about every other job. Like, the last one and the next one after that. They niggas try to tell you how to spend your money. I'm like, yo. You should get me money. The fuck is you niggas talking about? Like, these niggas compete with me and I be like, yo. Are we still doing that? How many more times do I have to tell these niggas that they can't compete with me? Y'all can't compete with me, man. Y'all cannot compete with me, man. They gotta stop all that shit. That shit is... Nah. Ain't no way in hell niggas can compete with me. <clears throat> you're, not face, you're not facing the same thing, my nigga. You're just not, man. I can't even talk to somebody without them getting jealous and want to attack that person. Come on, man. We can't even have a good conversation. Niggas got to fake a good conversation with you 
and attack you then act phony like it's crazy you feel me let me laugh with a bitch in the corner somewhere that's front page news you can't compete with me man y'all niggas need to stop it stop acting like you on my level you're not on my level you're not on my level my nigga you just not <coughs> Until you start getting attacked. Until you wear these Adidas stripes and not complain or file any kind of complaint. Take those chin, take those punches of your chin. Better pass, man. Yeah, back pass. You already know I got one too. Of the aisles. A clear path is a safe path. They gotta work on their rhymes. You feel me? Until until you go through the things, I go just just antagonize people just driving by and start making all kinds of stupid noise. Until you learn how to deal with those things when it happens to you. Until you don't file no complaints or make no complaints and you still go forward. Even through all the opposition and the shit that niggas be talking about? Come on, man. Niggas can't compete with me, man. You ain't hear me complain yet. Who I complain to? Who am I gonna complain to? Shit, nigga. Who are you competing with? You ought to bow your head. You ought to bow your head. Fuck is you niggas competing for? They can't compete with me, man. There's no competition. You're not going through the same thing we going through. You're not walking a mile in my shoes. You're not walking in these shoes. Come on, man. Come on. Let it pass. They jealous. He knows it's true. He knows it's true. Come on, man. That nigga's not half the man I am. He knows that. When he sees himself and I'm around, he feel like a little boy, but that's a grown ass man. You feel me? You can't compete with me. You see, that's why I be talking to these niggas the way I talk to these niggas, cause it's just a different animal when it comes to me. You feel me? It's just different. It's a big, big difference. Difference. Just di di difference. You feel me? The name is Jeff Difference. Take the D, I just put a J on it, just a difference. Because my name is Jeff, no difference. It's just a big difference, difference. I know that they keep pushing the time back, but it's all good. We got time. I ain't in a rush. I'm not going to waste my money taking Ubers no more like that, you feel me? I'm feeling a little better. <clears throat> you can still hear my voice a little shaky a little bit because, you know, they've been trying every day just to try. They're trying to keep me sick. They're still trying to keep me in the sick mode. You're not going through those things, man. When people get mad at you because you starting to get better. You're supposed to get better. But these niggas want you to stay sick forever. Because they felt so comfortable. When you were sick and weak. They felt strong. When you was frail. When you was fragile, they were stronger. But every time you start showing strength, they start holding their breath. They're like, oh my God, oh my God. It's, oh my God. They feel me? And they start talking under their breath. Cause you getting a little stronger now, you feel me? You cannot compete with me, my niggas. You just can't. And I'm not being arrogant. It's just a fact. It is just a fact. It's a law that has been laid down. It's, writ it's written, it cannot be changed. You just can't compete with me. You just can't, you feel me? I ain't complain to nobody. I took everything stride by stride and I kept on moving forward as I always have and always will. I ain't complain to nobody, file no police report, none of that gay shit, you feel me? How the fuck they competing with me? Niggas is jealous of me and shit like that. Talking about he not that this and he not that that and he spending this money. I'm like, it's my money, nigga. How the fuck you gonna talk about my money? How you watching some other nigga pocket? Like, these niggas is weird, bro. 
it just kills me. I'm like, yo, at least acknowledge the fact that the nigga's going through the things that he's going through. Like, <laughs> are you willing to go through those things? If you are, then my nigga, yeah. You feel me? Then come compete with me. But you're not going to compete with somebody and you're not going through the same pain they're going through. You just can't compete with the nigga. The money that I earn, the money that I earn, I really, really earned it, nigga. Ain't nobody giving me shit, nigga. I got to go out there and earn it. And I ain't cheap neither. So when somebody asks, I give. You feel me? So that means I really, really earn my shit, nigga. And yet they still want to compete with me. And they still want to fight me. And they still want to do all this shit. I'm like, yo, what's wrong with these niggas? These niggas is beyond weak. Who raised these niggas? Who raised them? Yeah, they want to point to your mother and be like, your mother this and your mother that. I'm like, God damn. Y'all niggas is beyond weak. Y'all still compete with me? Y'all beyond weak. Beyond it. It's like pathetic now. It's like, come on, man. This desperation. These niggas is just desperate. They need something to happen. They're desperate now. Like, it's like... <laughs> it's, <laughs> fuck. Niggas, niggas is gay, B. They gotta be gay. You feel me? Well, let me see what time it is, man. You feel me? How you gonna compete with me? You can't compete with me, man. Let it pass. They can't compete with me, man. And these are grown-ass men. In any other world, these niggas would be men. But since I'm around, I make them look like little boys. And those who support me secretly, I praise you. Feel me? I hope God bless you. I openly. You feel me? But those who keep hating, I'm just talking to the hating ass niggas who envy and are jealous of you and mad because they feel like you doing this and you doing that and you doing this. I'm like, yo, what's up with y'all niggas, B? The same niggas that talk about your son and everything else be the same nigga that made you lose your last job. They literally, they literally was trying everything in their power to make me quit that shit. Knowing damn well I wasn't going to quit. Then they had to make up some lie just to take it away from you. Then they bring up your son. I'm like, if you really, really bringing up my son, then how is it that you want to take the income away from his mom? How you trying to take food away from that nigga? You see? It ain't even about nothing when they talk about it. They don't talk about the only thing they do is basically bring up good points to make good arguments. That's it. The rest of it is just bullshit. Come on, man. You cannot compete with me, man. You just can't. You should have the balls to know that for yourself that you cannot compete with me. It's an embarrassment to even want to compete with me. It is an embarrassment because I wouldn't even compete with me. I wouldn't. This is. I wouldn't at all. I wouldn't if 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 I was outside of me, and I was somebody else, and I noticed somebody like me, in the position that that person is, which I am in. <laughs> let me not lose you. Let it pass. I couldn't even stand there and fix my face and talk bad about that person. I couldn't even compete with that person. If I couldn't do nothing for that person, then I would have to eliminate myself from that conversation, from that premises, completely. Because I feel weak in that moment because I couldn't do nothing for that person, which is me. Because intuitively, you want to do something for somebody who is, you feel like, oh, damn, this nigga going through it right now. He got too many opposition. It's obvious they playing, they're not playing it fair. And it's like you want to do something, but since... I've removed myself from myself and I'm looking at the situation from another point of view. I can't even make a bad comment about this individual. <clears throat> I can't. I can't make a bad comment about this individual. Because I know that this man is already going through something already. It's like, what is it that my words or my action or my hate or my little two, my two cents is going to do to this person when he go through this shit every day. Come on, man. 
I'm not that shallow to even involve myself in it. You gotta be a shallow individual. I ain't that shallow to even involve myself in it. I'm like, come on, man. I'm gonna look at that nigga and be like, Shh. I gotta, I, I gotta support you with a long spoon. I gotta hit you with the wink, wink from blocks away. I gotta hit you with the no, no, don't do that. No, turn left. You feel me? Just so I don't get caught on some bullshit. Cause you know they be hating. And that's real talk. These niggas is beyond, beyond weak. They beyond weak. Beyond weak. You feel me? Let it go. Let it go, commentator. You feel me? They beyond weak. Because if I remove myself from my own situation, and I was like, how can I help this individual? That's the only that's the only support I can support him is to help him. I couldn't even hate on him. He's already receiving enough hate. There wouldn't be a jealous bone in my body for me to even offer. How can I offer such an emotion? That's, come on, man. Hold on. That's number two. Number two, you be taking too long, baby. My bus is gonna drive past you though. <laughs> How can I offer such an emotion? I can't even, when I remove myself, I, I, already did the, I already did it in my mind already. I removed myself from myself and I was like, what can I offer myself? I'm like, you know what, I can offer myself help. You feel me? Because I couldn't offer myself any kind of hate. This, they already doing it. He's already receiving enough. Every single day, even if they stop for a year, he the hate has the hate. They, there's enough <laughs> residue. There's so much residue of hate around. It's like it's crazy. I couldn't offer nothing else. I couldn't offer a weak emotion like like jealousy. I'm like nah, nigga. I give you strength. I give you inspiration. I, I give you motivation. Matter of fact, you motivated me, honestly. True indeed. Because when I remove myself from my own situation and I try to offer myself something, I said I'll offer myself help. But look in it, let it pass. Yeah, when I. When I remove myself from myself and I try to offer myself some help, I end up being inspired by what myself was going through. I'm like, damn. Instead of me offering myself help from removing myself from myself, I was inspired by the situation itself. And I'm like, God damn, this nigga is motivating me. This nigga is inspirational. How the fuck, how, how can I be jealous of him? Look at what he's doing. That's give me inspiration to even want to continue more. I couldn't separate myself from myself, nigga. I had to run back into it real fast. And that's what I give other people who can really see things for what they are. On the low, yeah, they be motivated, they be inspired. They be wanting to do, they be like, ah, if he can do it and there's all this noise around him, I can definitely do it. And I ain't got no noise around me. I could do way, way more because there's no distraction. And nobody trying to stop you from doing nothing. <clears throat> Even if there's somebody trying to stop you, there's not that many people involved who have civilians watching you consistently. Everywhere you turn, they're watching you. Right now, in this very moment, they're watching you. You feel me? Yeah, when I remove myself from myself. And I try to offer my ass like the only thing I can offer myself is help. I gotta do the right things, I gotta move right, I gotta be on my P's and Q's. Then I'm looking at me and I'm like, 
Shit, nigga, I'm motivated. Nigga. I'm inspired by what I'm going through. Look at what this man, look at what he's doing. With the little bit that he has, look at what he does with it. Come on, man, these niggas is haters, bro. <clears throat> they fucking haters, B. And the only thing they got to offer is buttholes and gays and lies and like, it's just pathetic behaviors. Carrying shit in their pockets. Like, who does that? Like, they have nothing to offer but just chaotic behavior. Death. That's all they got to offer. Sinister. Yeah, that's my bus. I'll holler at y'all later. Beyond we, bitch ass nigga. Look at him, he's still mad. That's all they got to offer. Just nasty behaviors. Disgusting. Noise. <clears throat> nothing substantiable. Like no growth, nothing. No inspiration, no motivation. Just noise, shit, and just chaotic behavior. That's all they got to offer, bro. That's all. They ain't inspiring nobody. Niggas is jealous. They attacking people and everything else. Like, that shit is sad. They're not offering no solution. That should be sad. Anyway, I gotta go.